Picture this. You're walking through downtown Manhattan. You turn the corner, and there it is. A giant gleaming white bubble, completely sealed off, rising from a construction site. No deafening jackhammers, no dust clouds drifting over traffic, no fencing swallowing half the sidewalk. But inside that dome, a 40-story skyscraper is being built. Concrete is pouring, steel is rising, machines are working around the clock. And yet the city barely notices. This isn't science fiction, it's cutting-edge engineering, and it's already being tested on live construction sites across the world. Welcome to the age of inflatable construction domes and the quiet revolution reshaping how we build cities. Urban construction has always been a headache. If you've ever lived next to a site, you already know. It means months, sometimes years of noise, dust, blocked roads and early morning jackhammers. Traditional construction zones simply weren't designed for modern city life. And with urban populations booming, the pressure to build smarter, not just faster, is higher than ever. China, facing the world's fastest urban expansion, saw this challenge coming and responded with a bold idea. In late 2024, in the city of Jinan, engineers launched a pilot project. They sealed off an entire construction site with a massive pressurized dome. By early 2025, it was fully operational. The numbers are wild. The dome covered 20,000 square meters of work area, more than four football fields, and stood 50 meters tall. Inside, a full-scale building was going up. Outside, the impact was barely noticeable. While inflatable domes have been used before, for sports arenas, warehouses, even military hangars, China is the first country to deploy them at this scale for live urban construction. The Jinan project is officially recognized as the first of its kind in China. And at 50 meters tall and 20,000 square meters wide, it's also the largest inflatable construction dome in the world. What's more, this isn't a one-off experiment. Similar structures are already in use in Beijing's Li's financial district, and the Chinese government has started offering incentives to builders who adopt this technology. So how does something like that actually work? The structure itself is a pressurized membrane made from PVDF-coated polyester, a flexible high-strength material used in large-scale tents and tensile roofs. There are no metal frames, no support columns, no cranes holding it up, just carefully regulated internal air pressure between 0.3 and 0.6 kilopascals above atmospheric pressure. That's less than what you'd feel on an airplane and completely safe for workers to be inside. To keep that pressure stable, workers enter through airlock tunnels that prevent the dome from deflating. Meanwhile, industrial fans and climate systems manage air quality, temperature and humidity, creating an indoor microclimate where work can continue 24-7, rain or shine, heat wave or snowstorm. And that's where the benefits start stacking up. First, dust. Domes like these can trap up to 90% of airborne construction dust. In cities already struggling with air quality, Los Angeles, London, Sao Paulo, that's a major upgrade. Then there's the sound. Typical construction sites can easily hit 100 decibels. These domes bring that down by 40 to 80 decibels. To someone standing outside, the sound of jackhammers becomes a faint, low murmur. But maybe the biggest impact is what happens when the weather turns. Normally, construction slows or even stops during heavy rain, freezing cold or snow. In many northern countries, sites are forced to shut down for months each year. Inside a dome, none of that matters. These structures work in temperatures from minus 20 degrees Celsius to plus 50 degrees Celsius or minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Workers stay warm, materials stay dry, and projects stay on schedule. And when construction stays uninterrupted, productivity goes up by a lot. In some cases, 20 to 30% gains in output have been reported. That's not just faster, it's more predictable. And for big budget projects, predictability is everything. What's exciting is how flexible these domes are. 
They are already being explored for use on hospital sites, school expansions, even historic preservation projects. With a dome, most of those problems could have been solved from day one. Now imagine using this technology in earthquake zones, where you need to rebuild fast but protect workers from aftershocks. Or in places like Alaska or northern Canada, where sub-zero temperatures make normal construction nearly impossible for months on end. In those cases, domes don't just make the job easier, they make it possible. Of course, it's not all smooth sailing. Like any temporary structure, domes have to deal with wind. They're engineered to withstand gusts of up to 120 km per hour, about 75 miles per hour. If conditions go beyond that, safety protocols kick in, which can include temporary shutdowns or controlled deflation. But the aerodynamic shape of the dome helps a lot, naturally deflecting airflow like an airplane wing. Snow is another issue, but again, the design helps. The curved surface causes snow to slide off naturally, and inside heating can melt what sticks. Some systems even use vibrating membranes or thermal pulses to shake or melt snow buildup before it becomes dangerous. What might surprise you is how quickly these domes go up. The membrane arrives folded on trucks, stretched across the site, anchored with stakes or weights, and inflated using high-powered fans. From delivery to full deployment, three to seven days. Faster than setting up conventional scaffolding or weather shielding on a site of that size. And when the job's done, the dome is packed up, stored, and reused. Most can be deployed eight to 12 times before the membrane needs replacing. Now, let's talk cost. For large-scale projects, a dome installation typically runs between 2.2 and 4.8 million US dollars up front. Monthly operating costs land between 15,000 and 25,000. That covers power, maintenance, and monitoring systems. But the return on investment comes quickly. Weather-related delays alone often eat up 10 to 15% of a project's total budget. Take those out of the equation, and the numbers start to work in your favor. Add the 20 to 30% productivity bump, plus lower insurance premiums from reduced on-site risk, and these domes suddenly don't seem expensive. They seem inevitable. Insurance companies are already offering reduced premiums for dome-covered construction sites. And in cities where residents are fed up with noise complaints and constant dust, local governments are starting to take notice. In some areas, there's even talk of fast-tracking permits for dome-covered projects because of their lower impacts on the surrounding community. And this isn't just a China story anymore. Other countries are already adapting the technology to suit their own needs. In South Korea, inflatable construction domes have been formally approved. In Germany, pilot programs are underway, and some automotive factories are testing scaled-down versions for year-round indoor assembly. The US military is exploring inflatable structures for rapid deployment in remote or hostile environments. These systems are designed to go up in under 20 minutes, withstand wind loads up to 120 km per hour, and operate in extreme temperatures as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius. And in Canada, inflatable domes are already being used in oil sands operations. In Alberta, one dome more than 180 feet wide was successfully deployed at minus 24 degrees Celsius and now stores over 40,000 metric tons of frac sand, proof that these structures can function even when temperatures plummet to minus 40 degrees Celsius. There's also a serious environmental angle. These domes reduce carbon emissions by keeping projects on schedule, cutting out energy waste from delays and restarts. They contain dust and noise, minimize material damage from weather, and eliminate the need for disposable site coverings like plastic sheeting or wood barriers. Is this the future of construction? In many ways, yes. Cities are getting denser, environmental rules are getting stricter, and the cost of doing nothing, of building the same way we always have, is getting higher. Inflatable domes aren't a fix for every problem, but for high-impact, high-disruption projects in crowded areas, they're a game-changer. And the next time you see what looks like a giant marshmallow rising from the middle of your city, take a closer look. That might just be the most advanced construction site in the world, quiet, clean, 
and building the future from the inside out. What do you think? Should more cities start building like this? Would this solve a problem where you live or raise new ones? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share it, and make sure you're subscribed for more Mega Build stories.